the success of UAVs like the Global Hawk and Predator has spurred an even greater investment on the part of the Pentagon. Between 1990 and 1999, the DOD spent about $3 billion on unmanned air vehicles. Between 1999 in 2009, they're going to spend about $15 billion. So it's a five-fold increase in investment. Another robot being developed for use by the U.S. military is this unmanned helicopter, Fire Scout. Designed to operate off Navy ships for up to nine hours, Fire Scout looks like a commercial helicopter, but is anything but. In the place of its cockpit is a highly sophisticated payload that gives it the same degree of autonomy as the Global Hawk. There is one difference in that we're not sure where we're going to land because the ship is moving. So we've accommodated that by the vehicle uh, receiving from the ship the ship's position. It's designed to work with the littoral combat ship for the Navy. Uh, it'll provide reconnaissance and surveillance for them. The Fire Scout will be controlled by two crewmen in the ship's combat information center. We're holding on to a mouse and a keyboard and flying it like a computer game and telling it, go to this heading, go to this altitude. But the vehicle controls itself autonomously through its onboard software and computer systems. A slightly different version of Fire Scout is also in development for the Army as part of its future combat systems program that combines manned and unmanned systems. The Army, like the Navy, has plans to arm it in the future. Future payloads could include a variety of weapons that could be used for either surface or undersea attack. But not all of the unmanned aerial vehicles now in development have the look of a real aircraft like Fire Scout. This is an example of the Killer B, 